In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up Google Alerts so that you get an email when your name, your domain name, or other terms that you want to keep an eye on are found on the web by Google. This is Michelle Schaefer from the 31 Days Blog Challenge. We are on day 10 of working through Pro Bloggers 31 Days to Build a Better Blog Workbook, and our task for today is to set up alerts. You want to start at google.com forward slash alerts and you do want to be signed into your Google account for this. Now on this page you can set up what you want to get alerts for. So there's two types of alerts that Darren recommends we set up. One is industry keywords. So think about the topics that you blog about. You can set up some alerts around those. The other is what's called vanity alerts. Those are your name, your domain name, things specifically related to your business or your blog. So for example, I might want to know when people are talking about me. To do that, I would put my name in there, but I'm going to surround it with quotes. That way it only tells me when it finds my entire name, not just the words Michelle and Schaefer anywhere on a page. You can choose what you want Google to let you know about. So maybe just news sites, blogs, videos, discussions, or books. I want to know all of them. So I'm going to leave that set to everything. You can choose how often you want them to alert you. If you're using the email setting, so they're going to send you an email every time they find it, you don't want to set it to as it happens unless it's a low traffic keyword. If you are blogging, say, about celebrities and you put in a celebrity name and choose as it happens, you are quickly going to be overwhelmed with email alerts. So you may want to choose once a day or once a week instead. I've got mine set to once a day. I want all results. Now for your vanity alerts, you want to know all the results when your name or your domain name is found. For keywords for your industry, you may just want the top results if it's a busy keyword. Then you can choose how you want it delivered, either via email or you can have it delivered to a feed. If you choose feed, you're going to get a URL that you need to put into your feed reader. I'm going to keep it simple and have them sent straight to my email. And when I changed that, it changed some other settings here. Okay, so just check and make sure it's the way I want it. I want my name. I want them to send me everything one time a day. I want to see all the results. I want it delivered to my email. So I can click Create Alert. So simple as that. They're very easy to set up. I might want another alert set up for my domain name. It takes about three seconds to set these up once you know what you're doing with the boxes here. So this is another domain name my own. I can set up an alert for that. And you can just keep going with this as many alerts as you'd like. Now, if it gets overwhelming, you can go back to your alerts page and you can delete or edit any of these that are sending you too much email. So let's say I set up an alert and this one, it was just overwhelming me. I could go in and edit it and I could change it to once a week and only the best results. If I do that, I will get less email, but they'll be what Google feels are the most important ones to let me know about. So go ahead and get your alerts set up here. They'll be emailed to you. This should help you not only track where you're being talked about, which comes in handy as you can go, if a blog is talking about you, leave a comment. Say, hey, thanks, I appreciate the link if they've linked to you. You can watch where you're being mentioned, add those to your press page or your As Seen On page. It's a great way to find people who like you, who are talking about you, to engage with them and maybe build a relationship out of that or to find where things that aren't so positive are being said so that you can decide whether you want to weigh in on those discussions as well. This will help you keep your finger on the pulse of the internet, so to speak, as it relates to you and your blog.